the next materials we have are the interior materials and this we just want to keep it simple because no one's really going to be viewing it from here so let's left click interior and since this is an interior material like paint let's go to indoor and what I like to do for paint is go to the plaster material here left click that and I'm just going to choose something like this something with some texture in it you know this is a little extreme for it but like I was showing you earlier we're going to tweak it so it looks more like regular paint so let's exit the library now I'm going to raise the colorization so it could be like a white paint so maybe I make it a little warm like that and I'm going to decrease the scale of it that way it looks more like like a painted material instead of like full blown plaster that looks good and I'm going to lower the gloss a little bit and I'm just going to keep playing with this until it looks great so the ceiling is very similar to this so I'm going to left click interior again make sure that's selected hit the menu button then copy left click ceiling go to standard because we're pasting hit the menu button and paste usually ceilings are more reflective than the walls this helps with uh, light bouncing I'm just going to increase gloss a bit so there's a little shine to it and now the interior floor we can just select a uh, a wood texture so again this is interior so let's go to indoor wood and let's go with something like this so eh, not too crazy about that let's go with this i think it's a little too shiny i'm just going to lower the glossiness until there's just a slight sheen to it over here we have a wood wall that's in the kitchen again this is an interior wood surface so i'm going to go to indoor then hit wood and look for some sort of wood material for that how does this look you know what? I think that looks fine for this. Let's hit check mark. And now let's look from far away. So yeah, this is really getting there. So I'm very happy with this. Let's go to the weather tab and just see what the front of the building looks like. Yeah, this looks beautiful. So in the next video, we're going to cover adding context.